We're here at the Natural History Museum in New York City to see the unveiling of Spaceship Two. Now this is the spacecraft that the Virgin Group hopes will inaugurate commercial space travel. It's not as crazy as it sounds because they've, they've hired the best in the business. Scaled Composites, which built Spaceship One that went to space in 2004. It's the first private spaceship to actually reach space without any government help of any kind. The other thing that everyone here is waiting to hear answers to is, is what happened last summer. There was an accident at the Scaled Composites test stand. Three people were killed, three more put in the hospital. It was a terrible thing, not just for Scaled Composites, but, but also for this, this emerging industry of commercial space travel. There's something about entrepreneurs that beats in their heart and soul every day. Many of us have the regular heartbeat, they have something that's a little different. And it's a beat that says, why not? Why not? Is this going to be a safe system? Safe enough for you to fly? I wouldn't do it if I didn't think it was safe, safe enough. The people involved give me a great degree of confidence that that risk is minimized as much as possible and it makes me comfortable to fly. The way it works is this ship is going to take off go to a high altitude with the spaceship slung underneath. And once they get to 50,000 feet or so, the spaceship's gonna drop off, go into free fall, and then light their rocket engine, and then this thing is gonna power up to space, going past Mach 3 all by itself while the, the White Knight 2 will peel off. And then you'll get about four minutes of weightless flight up there, see the curve of the Earth. You have an experience that, that very few people have had at this point. I can't spoil for you by telling you about it. Why is it important for a private company to do this in addition to the government or instead of? Only the elite would be flying coast to coast and the rest of us would be uh, poofing it or, or driving. Space needs that boost and that uh, creativity that comes with handing it over to entrepreneurs and businessmen. The fact that this system will have the capability to launch small payloads and satellites at low cost is hugely important. I keep telling Richard uh, that to me adventure is more important than safety. But He's really set on safety. What caused that explosion on the test stand last summer, in which three employees were killed, three more put in the hospital? To find the answer, they need to understand more properly how nitrous oxide behaves in certain conditions. It's something that hasn't been done a lot in industry. Nitrous oxide is used in small quantities in dentists' office, most commonly hospitals but 10,000 pounds of nitrous oxide being moved into this tank. If anyone can find the answers to these things, it's, it's these guys. It puts a lot of pressure on this one company. If they can pull this off, a lot of other companies are gonna follow them. If they can't, if this crucial problem isn't solved, it might be a long time before you and I get our space flights.